Welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT9. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And we have a very special guest with us this week. The uh, he, he A man that he really doesn't need much introduction, but I'm going to give him one anyway. I'll take it. He's got nice clothes. Ooh. A nice personality. Ooh. He's got a nice touch. Yeah. I don't know personally, like but what? I've spoken to a few women. And they tell me that he's got the biggest wallet that they've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Welcome, to, welcome to the podcast, Mr. X. Mr. X. Good to be here, guys. Mr. It is good to be here. It's a lovely day. First, I think it's going to be a good week. I think it's going to be a good week. Yeah, probably. It always is when Mr. X is here. So, yes. so guys, the Olympics are going on. Yeah. yeah. There's that stuff happening. You know what, Jonas? I feel like I had to retract a little bit because I've been enjoying the Olympics this year. Oh, yeah. You, didn't you say how stupid they were? There's yeah. I, I, oh, I love the Olympics. I'm back, I'm back I'm from back. the dead. I'm back and I love them now. I love. <laughs> okay. Here's what I love about the Olympics. I like watching all the obscure sports like that, that nobody like, like i like, turned it on the other day and they were doing horse prancing yeah we were watching horse prancing the other dressage. day like i'm a big dressage fan actually yeah, i like, watched it too like i want to see the discus i want to see like the stuff you don't get to see but you know that's not what they'll feed you on like uh you know, prime time. They want. They just want you to watch gymnastics and nothing else. Yeah, because that's, that's what we're good at. Yeah. Yeah. But well, that's yeah. what before we've we get into at. all of our obscure sports, there is a big story that came out of the Olympics. There's it's been a the, bunch of big stories. Like the big, probably one of the biggest controversial ones. Oh, I mean, there's been a bunch. We're of here, those. For oh, yeah, right. here for the controversy. Here for the controversy. So, and I don't even know what country she's from. Algeria. Is that what it is? The boxing, the female boxing, gold medal winner. Yeah, what's her name? I don't know anybody. <laughs> I don't know anybody. This name. is the kind of journalism I love right here. Truth this motherfucker had time today. I even looked up pictures of her before the video, and he was micromanaging my ass. He don't even have a name of the goddamn lady. Don't know where she's from. I'm all you know is that everybody was busy calling her trans all week. That's all you know. <laughs> Excuse me. That's all you know. Hold on. What's, what's the <laughs> motto? Insane. What's the motto of the Crazy Town podcast? Oh, oh, oh the I know, I know, I, Jonas? I know what it is. It, truth, not facts. Truth, not facts. Apologize for yelling into the microphone. That was a lot. It was neat. TNT TNT's had a had a hard weekend, and it's it's a tough Monday. Here. I just can't believe that you had didn't know her name or where she was from. That's Everyone insane. knows what I'm talking about. Every, of course we all know, so Jonas, but do it doesn't to... matter if all we all know this. We're here to provide information. What's her name? Where's she from? Give it to me now. I know you got it. I didn't look it up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all the time we have today. <laughs> all right, fine. Fair enough. We started out good on the week. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. We did. We did. So we, we still don't know her name? Do you know her name? I don't know. I just got here, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, bro. It's all right, fine, Jonas. It's a little Imane, Imane it's Khalif. Imane Khalif. And she's from Algeria. Algeria. There we go. Man, are you happy now after you derailed the podcast? It's a little, I'm good. It's a little I'm salty in here. Yeah. I don't know what, oh, my God. Seriously. Yeah. It's about? pink Himalayan salt. Yeah, right? I want it open. We're talking about her because she's a very strong woman. And she did so well. <laughs> she is a very strong woman. There she is. That on the left there. On the left. So yeah. She's the yep. one on the left. She and people were saying that she was trans and there was a big uproar that they were letting quote unquote men fight women, letting men punch women in the face at the Olympics. Well, in 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 the story was I understood that it's some sanctioned boxing tournament she failed some tests at some point. Right. Yeah. And, and so they were that's why they were saying, well, she must have failed the gender test and blah blah blah. Right. They didn't say what test she failed. What's actually very interesting, I know TNT has the knowledge of. Why don't you share it with us since you do all the research? I did. I did a little bit of research on this. Uh so um, Amani Khalif was fighting in a boxing match against a uh a formidable opponent. The, the opponent had been hit in the nose within like the first five seconds of the match and she decided to stop the match. Because I think 46 she, seconds in. She, she said, I have never been hit so hard before in my life. <laughs> and I believe she had a nose injury prior to even attending the event. So okay. she didn't want to necessarily put her life or livelihood on the rest of the line. At no point in time did she make a statement about uh, a political statement about not wanting to fight Khalif. Khalif has a record of, I believe, in She's lost to nine other females in the sport of boxing. A few of them have uh, come out on her behalf on Twitter, just saying it's like, I fought her before, I've beaten her before. She's not 
like unbeatable. She's not an unbeatable, unstoppable force. She's a woman just like anybody else. She just happens to be not makeup for this picture. Like I'm sure if she was cleaned she's up, she's large. Yeah, she's a she's, large person. She's at the gym, and yeah, she she kind of won the genetic lottery where she has a hormone imbalance that sometimes elevates her testosterone level, levels. Now, me my, me myself, when I heard this news, I was like, oh, so she was doing steroids. I was like, yeah, so does every other Olympian. But you know. In the enhanced games, <laughs> that's, a different story. that's a callback. Yeah, I like that. Story. I was here for that one. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, so she is a genetically born female. Yeah, people went to people went to hell for it. Uh, Dude, that that mayor in Missouri or whatever dropping f bombs about. Yeah, a mayor, a, a lady who was running for Missouri. What is it? The state. Something I can't remember. Exactly. Truth, not facts. We got I would, it. Yeah, I would like to know her name though, just for the podcast. But she, apparently, she came out with a, a very a bigot, tirade. bigot filled tirade, bigotry filled, Strong, tirade. strongly worded. Yeah, yeah. Tra- talking about f bombs, ruining everything, and oh, Jesus, it was like, holy lord, uh, <laughs> Miz- Missouri lady. No, what do you even call it, man? Uh, the Missouri race uh, bigot, racist. We weren't racist. It was transist. But... Way you misspelled Missouri. I, I misspelled racist too. All right. Well, either way. All right. Somebody anyway, from Missouri. So... This lady. <laughs> that's not her. Caught on doorbell cam. Okay. No. That's Anyways, not her. Pe- I think it's it's wild that people just like jump on the train of like without even knowing what's going on. That is the problem in the world today. Is somebody was like, that's a trans woman. And no one even checked and just started wiling out. They went for it. Yeah, they went hard at it. Yeah, because I thought that was the story. Because, I mean, I was, I was hearing it secondhand. Or right, I was seeing, exactly. I was like, oh, they really had a trans person fighting. That, that, That's okay. what everybody thinks because of how hard everybody went with it. Yeah, and then, you're, then, yeah, then I saw it today, or I finally saw today and updated. Like, well, actually, she, it's, it's, a, it's a female, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so no, I, I'm I'm not here for that. I I, I don't appreciate this that. Lady. This lady, don't trust her. Valentina Gomez don't is that is her. that? Don't invite her to your dinner. No, don't invite her to the parties. Not yeah. everything that comes in a pretty package. She's pretty packaged in poison. Oh, it's like uh, it's like a uh, radiator fluid. Saccharin. Yeah. Can you imagine running for public office? And starting off a, a public a, a video with these f words need to get their own sport. Yeah. <laughs> So she was not the only one. J.K. Rowling jumped out the window. Oh, J.K. Com- Rowling jumped in, huh? She had comments to say to say. Oh, that- she loves jumping on trans stuff. Uh, okay. Also, what's your guy? Your Paul guy? Which That's one? Do you your like? boy from Cleveland. What's, what's his name? Logan Paul. Logan Paul. He jumped out the window too, talking about. He does this, some really dumb stuff. This though. is the sincerest form of evil when a man gets to fight a woman. Look, I understand is that people are a little concerned about. The idea of these of, of trans people competing with women or with people that are not in their same genetics. No, let's get it right. People are concerned that trans women are playing with genetic females. That, no one's concerned what, about trans men fight playing against men. Yeah, it's the double standard. But this world yeah. is full of double standards, well, right, so I can't. I can't well, take that's that away a meaningful from. double standard, though. Is it? You don't think like a dude stepping in with a with a, a female a a gen, uh, originally genetic dude yeah. stepping in a female. W- is is an is an advantage over a genetic oh, female yeah. stem. That's what I, I mean. It's it's a double. That. It's not. A, it's a double standard, but it but it's meaningful. It is. Standard. It is yeah. because one hundred percent. If there, if it were vice versa, well, we, would we would be touting that person as like king and, of the world, and they would be like, oh, Bilber. slay queen, like go kick his ass, is what yeah. they would be saying. If it would I be a different a, if conversation. I see a trans man on the same court with LeBron James. That's amazing. I need that. Yeah, in my go life. go get him. Yeah, that's 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 on. I mean, honestly, I wish. Like I like I, I'm all for everybody getting to compete, but but yeah, I mean I think even most most f- women professional athletes would say, I man, you've seen the you've probably seen the clips of like Serena Williams being interviewed about could you play the men tennis players, and she's like, no, I couldn't. I'd lose six oh six oh in like five minutes. Like mm. I'd get I'd get I'd get aced. And Is like, there actually a video out there of that? Yeah, that's oh, okay. out there. Yeah, I, it, it's out there because because I think it was in response to like John McEnroe saying like somebody was like trying to get John McEnroe to say she's the greatest tennis player ever, and he's like, no, I'm not going to say that like because she wouldn't. Woman. And and then she came out. She's like, no, these dudes they serve faster, they move faster. They're it's a different game, and that's true. And and it is true. And so uh, yeah, I, I think it's I. 
as someone that has a daughter, mm -hmm. I feel like I, I think it sucks for women on on, and this is this is a dude talking, but I think it sucks for women. Like like okay, the, we created women's sports because we wanted to have them have a have a fair place to compete. Exactly. And so uh, to me, I'm like, look, if anybody is is questionable, they need to be in the men's side. And let them go compete, and then no one's going to say a word about it. In most of these sports, I but. Mean, I mean, you see whenever, like, they let, like, uh, like in the college where the swimmer, and they break every women's Yeah, record, that's, like, that, that's bullshit, is what that is. Like, it's just, like, it's not speak fair. Speak your truth. That's how I feel about it. I mean, I, I, kind of, I kind of agree with you, but I feel like it's a very slippery slope. Because it is. when we talk about, you know, e equality to a certain extent, if a woman wanted to complete, compete in men's sport, no man would bat an eye. It's true. Yeah, you can't have equality with an asterisk. Exactly. So it's hard to say. So I kind of, I, I mean, like, I well, but it. then, well, then, all right, then can all the men go compete in the women's thing and just push all the women out of it? Like, well, we, that, that's we, not fair either. Like, and like it, it's we, inherently not equal. It's not supposed to be equal. But it isn't about physical equality. It's about equality of people. Yeah. So it's like, it's, um, I'm not, and like, I'm not, Nobody wants to see a genetically born man beating the shit out of a woman in an, in an Olympic ring. You know what I mean? Like, it's just nobody wants to see that anyways. But it, but I think it's, it's just about you can't be like, we want full equality and say people are allowed to identify however they want and then go, but you, we're going to discriminate you still. But everyone else is fine. Like, that's not fair. But that's is, not is equality. It but is it discrimination? Like absolutely. But why is if it discrimination? That if we created sport. women's sports because they probably because they can't compete if on the men's level, they identify as a woman, and you're saying that's a, they're it. allowed to do that. Why can't they compete with women? If a man, if a trans man, a woman who was born a woman but decided to transition into a man, wanted to play baseball, you wouldn't care. Well, and that's you what, would not. Care. Here's the thing. So again, I'm gonna go back to this. We created women's sports. Because they could not compete with the men head to head, Fair. and then because they, they it's just, look, I'm sorry if you if you, if you don't like science, I can't help you. Uh, but they're I just love it. there's a there, there's the genders are not equal. They're just not. Sorry okay. I, if that offends you. Read a book. Well, physically, but, I mean, I but physically, that's exactly what we're talking about here. We're not talking about anything but physical. But my point is like, look, if you want to have an have you look? We created the women. Let it be the women's thing. Then have but, the all gender. No, then have the all genders. But here's the all thing, genders can go compete here's over the there. Point, I guess that I'm not really trying to fight for this point. But as far as ev what everyone's been fighting for is that if you identify a as a woman, you're the same as a born woman because you identify. They're like t in the equality world, whether you're a trans woman or a biologically born woman that's the same thing because you are just as much a woman as a woman who was born with a vagina because everyone's equal and you are what you identify as and nope. that is the point of like so you're I, saying i, like, I don't agree with well, that well, but right and i know but like that's they want equality but then you can't say like this person identifies as a woman but they can't compete because they have whatever like it's a whole weird slippery slope, but like, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, I, but that, that's why it's not equal. No, well, equality is kind of, kind of bullshit, but cause we're not created equal. You and me are not, you're a lot taller than I am. TNT is a hell of a lot taller than I am. I am. He's like, seven foot nine. Yeah, we're not equal. He's like Yao Ming over here. No, yeah. I guess I could probably dunk and you probably could. You pr exactly. And, and should <laughs> I, should, should, does something need to be happened to make me equal? Should, if we played basketball, should I get a lower hoop? You get four inch uh, stilts on your shoes. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like no things just aren't equal. We're not created. We don't look the same. We're not the same, and that's okay. It's okay. Like there, there's a thing about quality of rights, oh. and then there's a thing about you know everything else that the rest of the world has to bow to whatever it is that you say is your truth, and we have to change everything about what everybody else is doing because you have this truth that you've decided. Like I'm not saying you can't go live as another set or another gender. Like I'm not saying that. Go ahead. But you can't make the whole world bow to your desire or to I mean, what you've decided your truth. Right. Is. And I'm not saying how I feel. It's just in the equality world, it's weird to then say, but you can't. I, w I agree with the whole idea of you can't make the world because the, the world is a big place and different cultures have different. But as far as American culture, um, if, if nobody has to be accepting of anything, your home, your hometown has to be a little accepting of it. 
What, what do you feel like the, the, the American culture is going with this as far? Well, as- I think we went we went down a path, and I think we're going back the other way now. I think people are like, eh, because you've like seen... the razor you, swung way at one side. Yeah, the, like, the pendulum went way far. one way, and I think people are like, yeah, it's okay, so so this trans woman is now beating the shit out of all these women in, 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 these, in swimming, or I've seen it in some other sports I've where this has happened. I've seen it in esports, where an entire team of trans women... Well, I did, uh, does that make a difference, esports? I mean, they won. They, well, beat, all, they beat all the women. Is I that know, really? I, yeah. Oh. So, to, I mean, well, I, like, that, any, I mean, that, that's, that's, fi- a, that's, a, that's a whole different thing of yeah. esports. Well, I'm not even sure what to do with that. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Jonas, you first. I already spoke. I mean, you're the one who probably really needs to give your point. All right. So, where, where I have to say is that equality as far as social rights, but to think that competing in the same sport with these individuals, I just feel like that's a little disingenuous. And I think that the people who actually, you know, who try to compete in these sports against when you're born a man and you transition, I feel like you're being a little disingenuous to yourself. All right. Like, you know, you know, the truth. Like if you were to get into a fight with a woman, you know, right. It's, it's, it's a no contest. So I think there needs to be some sort of, regulation or ruling on these types of events where you know yeah because i don't think i don't know i think in the olympics they don't let trans women no 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 no, absolutely not and that's not an issue but as far as like american culture because we we both named off a couple of instances where this has come up it needs to be handled but it's not as pervasive as the media no, is allowing. It's, it's, it's getting more and more. I remember talking about a story for track and field yeah, like yeah. five years ago. We I do brought too. it up. Like it was a long time ago. I do too. And I and I, you know, it's, it's it, so. I mean, it's go back to that from there to now. You know what I mean? So, anyways, Mister X, any final thoughts? Uh, I think I think we're taking all the all the work that was done on Title Nine to get women's sports put in place and shitting all over it, and I don't like it. I don't like well because the one thing that I don't like is you'll you'll hear like so even like in high school events and college events the 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 fe- the bio- the genetic females will even come out at the end and be like you know I lost it's disappointing that I came in you could just tell that they're like crushed because they they would have been in first place but now they're in second or third or like whatever um, so I think it really discourages women. In general, yeah. I, I think it's discouraging to them. So there are differences. There yeah. are differences. Anyways, and that's three dudes' opinion. So here yeah. we go. Yeah. So <laughs> everybody has a podcast, right? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, exactly. Go to thecrazytown.com. That's all the time we have for today. For Jonas, TNT, and Mr. X. Oh yeah.